indiscriminate dumping of refuse refers to the unlawful disposal of waste in undesignated spaces such as open or vacant land, sources of water and other areas. The huge amount of refuse is clearly increasing all over the base, littering streets and causing pollution. Refuse is like a waste, either from household, from factory, or from uh, maybe farm. So to us, the waste is supposed to be something we have to discard. But here in this uh, part of the country, we are not, people are not well enlightened on how to, dis I mean, dispose refuse. In a civilized environment or in a civilized country, refuse are even categorized. We have biodegradable refuse and non-biodegradable refuse. That means the one that can be in decomposed by the animals, ants, and everything, and those ones that cannot be I mean, decomposed. Right from the household, we are supposed to have two different refuse containers. The one that can be, I mean, degradable by animals, that means living things, that when you pour them in a place, they will still work on it, either by digesting it and it, it will decompose. Sometimes, illegal waste has dangerous substances and chemicals that would cause damage to the soil, the air, and the surrounding groundwater. This water can be carried to water sources that is used for drinking. Improper disposal of materials can pollute natural habitats and cause death to life in a wide area. We are supposed to have specified dumping sites, refuse dumping sites. And these refuse dumping sites are usually like incinerator where they will build it. And from time to time, people go there to apply chemical on them to, uh, for those things to maybe decompose or for maybe to burn them at some intervals, not every day and not at the time that people will be in that environment. Because there are some human beings, by the time they inhale smoke for a while, you know, asthma patients, you know. So even the burning is not supposed to be done anyhow. It's supposed to be done at the period people are not in that environment. And that's why in some areas, they do burning in the night, like this environment. <music> Management of solid waste has posed a serious challenge to the development of many developing nations across the globe. Factors responsible for the growth in waste generation in many modern societies are traced to increasing population that is complemented by rapid urbanization and industrialization which has resulted into a dramatic increase in the volume of waste generated. Other factors responsible for rate and quantity at which solid waste is generated are tied to the citizen's socio-economic status and the type of predominant commercial activities. Like all these waste, uh, maybe iron materials, they go, they get them to the company, they will now burn them. It becomes liquid. They, they can now use it to form the iron they want to form. Like all these iron, you see, they will melt the iron, it becomes watery, liquid. And then they will now use it to form any iron they want to, or any shape they want to form. You have furnace, like even in this place, you have furnace. We, you know, burn the iron and then all those waste materials. Iron material, they will not burn it. Then they can use this to get building materials, all this iron. But I'm not saying what they burn is what they use directly. There is a yeah, mixing processes. proportion process mm -hmm. that they have to do. But that will reduce the quantity of raw materials they have to buy from maybe outside or from another place. And this one also gives people opportunity of getting something on their table. Like now if you go around the town now, you see small children carrying sacks. Check inside the sack, it's either cans plastic and 
minute they get to the time, they dispose it and get maybe 500 naira, 1000. Instead of staying idle, you see children now busy. So recycling is one of the things that will help us in the era of dumping refuse anyhow. But the community have to be educated on the exact the need to dispose refuse properly. The offensive decomposing waste often attracts vermin such as rats and flies that act as vectors which may pose severe environmental and health hazards to the people in the community. The waste do not only kill the beauty of the city but had for years posed a serious health challenge to the thousands of its inhabitants. Negative effects of improper waste disposal include soil contamination, air and water contamination, bad impact on human health, impact on animals and marine life. Diseases carrying pest, etc. In the street, when you do layout, they're supposed to be a, I mean, a dumping site okay. whereby these refuse collectors will come and collect. But by the time you know it, even when the government allocate a dumping site, they will convert it to a land for somebody and they will sell it and people will buy it. So you can check that. We did a community, maybe a street. Now. There's no even dumping site. The small space available in the front of his house now, people start dumping. But uh, recently in Niger, in the Bida here, the this sanitation unit, I think they have this uh, their van that they goes around. They are giving people uh, more education that they should come out and dump it by the roadside, and these refuse people go to collect them. But despite that, some people dump them in the drainage, you know. So this will also be forced to be entered. They are making their work today. So one factor is that education enlightenment. Two is lack of proper planning by the government. Three is, you know, I don't care attitude of our people. They don't see the need to dispose these things properly. They say it's already a waste. But thank God with the new technology now. If you go where you go to most of these dumping sites, now you see, see people that are also scavengers. They are going around to pick polythene, they are going around to pick cartons because presently there is this uh, recycling idea that came in about a year ago. Okay. That this material, when they are gotten in a large quantity, they can be recycled with chemicals and they're still in use. Okay. You now see that in some dumping sites, actually the people may not have dumped it. Like that, but people that come to also scavenge to site, you know, to look for either the plastic or the they will be spreading the this thing. But God helping us, we we'll try and then for the government to even come in to assist you, people have to be enlightened, mm -hmm. okay. and then there will be close monitor. There is this sanitation unit. Some causes of illegal dumping and they include high level of overall waste production, avoidance of disposal fees at waste management sites. Some people simply do not understand the importance of waste recycling. Moreover, the effect of illegal dumping includes damages to the environment, can be fire hazards, has health and safety risks, etc. There's no amount of money or time you can spend on health that is uh, not important. The little time we spend on health is very important. And how do we start our health education? It's right from our own houses. The outbreak of disease that you see or you hear about in some places is as a result of indiscipline burning. You know, waste, you know. Some of these things may not be the one that will cause disease actually. But the microorganism that we may emanate in the process of trying to I mean decompose all those things will lead to spread of some diseases. One of the things that we've said is that it has adverse effect on human health. Mm -hmm. I mentioned people that have uh, this asthma mm -hmm. and that. Thing. Then, apart from that, it also has adverse effect on the microorganisms which are of importance to us. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some microorganisms inside the soil. So, within that environment, if you are able to, if you burn that place, that means all the microorganisms in that area. That's why they usually prefer to have a specified place in a locality, and that place will be taken care of. You know, that is another. Then another thing that may also like to we talk about is this environmental pollution. Okay. I know people burning. You know, it also affects us.
these effects can be curbed if citizens put hands together to do a proper sanitation on their environment by disposing refuse properly in waste bins or buckets allocated to each area so that those people in charge of waste disposal would carry out their own work effectively. Who are the government? It's we that are the government. You know, people usually say government is a uh, Buhari, government is rector, it's not. We are the government. Once a particular law or a particular law has been given, it's now left for all of us to key in. For instance, what I talked about the hostel, a specific place has been given for these people to be dumping refuse. But are they doing it? Why are they not doing it? You can see that human mentality is one of the things that so all of us have to be taken care of that means all of us have to be taken along that okay this thing we must make it work because it's for our own good because when we stay in a neat environment you also will enjoy the environment i know that if some people want to go from here to the is this what is that hostel Sheraton. Now. some people will prefer to buy, stay by the roadside and this is uh, a road yes. third road and then and but you know that that is a shortcut for students, especially when you finish lecture in the day and you are hungry, you want to get to the hostel. So if all of us can be enlightened and see the need for us to take care of our environment, I don't think it will be a problem. So it's not government. Okay. Once government says something, we can also improvise.